Twin Peaks, Omar Bradley, and Harry S. Truman thinks he should take over an entire industry all on this day. Hey, welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is April 8th, 2021. It is the 98th day of the year. There are 267 days left in 2021. It is the 14th Thursday in the 15th week and the 20th day of spring. 74 days left until summer. If this is your birthday, you're an Aries. That's the Ram, I believe. Today is Rex Manning Day. Rex Manning Day celebrates the fictional music star Rex Manning from the movie Empire Records, which was a pretty interesting movie. I liked it years ago, but it was pretty good. It was released in 1995, and the film focused on a record store called Empire Records and its employees that attempt to save it from being sold. Washed up pop idol Rex Manning takes credit for his hype surrounding this holiday as he holds autograph sessions at the record store. So in the movie, he basically comes up with this and decides to sign autographs. Decades later, Empire Records and Rex Manning continue to be celebrated through internet memes and, and playing of the Rex Manning song, Say No More, I'm On The More. Rex Manning Day probably started in 2015. It is observed annually on April 8th, a date chosen in memory of Kurt Cobain. All right, let's see what else happened on April 8th, 1913, the 17th Amendment to the United States Constitution requiring direct elections of senators becomes law. Originally, state legislators elected senators, sort of indirect democracy. They switched it to direct democracy and held elections where the people voted on senators. There's a second part to this amendment where governors are allowed to install temporary senators until an election can be held. And this is in the case of someone resigning, going to jail, or in Arizona's case in 2018, when a senator dies. Senator John McCain died in 2018. The Arizona governor installed former Senator John Kyle. John Kyle only stayed on a couple months before he resigned, and the governor then again installed Martha McSally. This doesn't happen all the time, but Arizona got to do it a couple times in just a matter of months. 1952, U.S. President Harry S. Truman calls for the seizure of all domestic steel mills in an attempt to prevent the 1952 steel strike. This was a big deal. 1954, a Royal Canadian Air Force Harvard, which is a plane, collides with the Trans-Canada Airlines Canada Air North Star over Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, killing 37 people. 1959, a team of computer manufacturers, users, and university people led by Grace Hopper meets to discuss the creation of a new programming language that would be called COBOL. I don't know much about it, but I keep seeing these articles about brush up on your COBOL. It's... I guess they're doing something new with, I don't know. But yeah, it's an old language that apparently is still in use. 1975, Frank Robinson manages the Cleveland Indians in his first game as Major League Baseball's first African-American manager. He goes on to have a pretty good career. Now, Frank Robinson had a decent player's career. He was pretty good. Played for quite a while with the Cincinnati Redlegs at the time, later became the Reds. That was from 56 to 65. Baltimore Orioles from 66 to 61. Dodgers in 72. Angels in 73 and 74. And then the Cleveland Indians, he played from 74 to 76. Then he became the manager. 1975 to 1977 for the Cleveland Indians. Then he went on to be with the Giants for a while, the Orioles and the Montreal Expos and eventually the Washington Nationals. But great player, great manager, great coach. And he uh, passed away on February 7th, 2019 at the age of 83. Nineteen ninety two, retired tennis great Arthur Ashe announces that he has AIDS. He acquired it from a blood transfusion from one of his two heart surgeries. Arthur Ashe was born on July 10, 1943 in Richmond, Virginia. He served two years in the United States Army and was a second lieutenant. He also won three Grand Slam singles titles which is amazing in itself. He was the first black player selected to the United States Davis Cup team and the only black man to ever win the singles title at Wimbledon, the US Open, and the Australian Open. He retired in 1980. Arthur Ashe is one of the best tennis players to ever pick up a racket. Sadly, he's known for dying of AIDS almost as much as he's known for his tennis career. In September of 1988, Ash was hospitalized after experience paralysis in his right arm. After undergoing exploratory brain surgery and a number of tests, doctors discovered that he was, in fact, HIV positive. Ash and his doctors believe that he had contracted the virus from blood transfusions he received during his second heart surgery. Keep in mind, this was the early days of AIDS, and they really weren't scanning the blood 
that they were giving people in surgeries at the time because they really didn't know. And that's how he got it, sadly. Four years later, a worker for USA Today heard that Ash was ill and called him to confirm the story. Ash decided to preempt the USA Today's plans on publishing a story about his illness, and he publicly announced how and when he had believed he had contacted HIV. He blamed USA Today for forcing him to go public with the news, but also stated he was relieved to no longer have to lie about his illness to people. After he went public with his illness, he founded the Arthur Ashe Foundation for the Defeat of AIDS and the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health. And this all happened before his death from AIDS-related pneumonia at the age of 49 on February 6, 1993. 2006, the Sheridan Massacre. The bodies of eight men, all shot to death, were found in a field in Sheridan, Ontario. The murders are soon linked to the Bandidos Motorcycle Club. Gang, whatever you want to call them. Movies and TV released on April 8, 1990. Twin Peaks. Great show. Oh my God, it was so good. If you've never seen it, it's a David Lynch show, so right away, you should know it's going to be a little extra weird. And it is. It is really weird. But it had David Lynch played a part in it, Kyle McLaughlin, Peggy Lipton was in there, Piper Laurie, Sherilyn Finn, Laura Flynn Boyle, Ray Weiss, and a whole bunch of other people. This was just a weird and great show. If you ever get a chance, watch it. I know they tried to revive it, and I know they did a movie, but watch the original. It's extra weird and follow along. My favorite person on there was the log lady. She's the lady that carries around a log like it's a baby. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. It's a weird show. Born on April 8th, 1974, Chris Kyle. If you don't know who Chris Kyle is, he's the American sniper. He wrote the book and he uh, died before his movie about the book came out. He was an American military sniper known for recording more confirmed kills than any other sniper in American history. He wrote the best-selling autobiography, American Sniper, which was turned into the movie in 2014 of the same name, uh, starring Bradley Cooper as Chris Kyle. Sadly, he was killed by a colleague at a Texas shooting range. Now, they say he was killed by a colleague, but really him and a friend, Chad Littlefield, who was killed with him, had taken a vet out who was suffering from PTSD to shoot and, you know, just relax and things like that. And I guess he had done this for other people. For some reason, this dude freaked out and started shooting both of them, killed them both. So the dude that shot him leaves the scene of the crime, goes to his sister's house and explains what he did. And she calls 911. They come and arrest him. When the sheriff asked him why he did it, he said they were driving me to the range and nobody was talking to me. So I shot them. Yeah, that makes sense. This nut job is in prison for the rest of his life in Texas. He got life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Died on February 8th, 1981. We lost General Omar Bradley. He was a big part of World War II. He landed on the beaches of Normandy and pretty much took the brunt of what would be known as the Battle of the Bulge. He was definitely a good general and pretty much everyone liked him. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go forth, have a good day, and be nice to each other.